Hey guys, one more BTS. This is the second series of shots that we did. Um, th this one was fun to set up because uh, now we're really getting the cars ready for paint. We're doing all this fun stuff, and it was it, it was an adventure. Um, one getting uh, Emma to paint properly um, was just <laughs> it was fun to say the least. Um, you know, uh, uh, teaching someone on the fly how to paint was not easy, but, you know, she did a great job. I'm really excited about it, really proud of her. Um, what you can see in this image is uh, obviously Emma painting, but uh, some of the things that I added that may go a little more unnoticed was, you know, I, you saw a little bit further back that I had a, um, a beauty dish uh, just over her right shoulder and to my left, kind of really illuminating most of her, but I also had another flash uh, kind of behind her in the back corner of the paint booth uh, to give a little bit more rim light on her. And then also really subtle is that behind the car on the right side, um, or what would be the car's left, I've got another flash basically pointed directly at Emma's face in the spray gun. And it added just a little bit of highlights um, so that it didn't get drowned out in shadow. Because like what would be the her left side, uh, but camera right, um, the, you know, the spray mask would have been completely in shadow. So adding that element to brighten it up. And then the other big thing I added was the background. You'll notice how the rest of the shop is blue. Um, that is intentional. I actually threw two speed lights with blue gels up on light stands, uh, you know, in the left corner and the right corner to basically make that whole background look blue. Cause originally it was a little dark, um, there wasn't a lot of color in there, so I added that color tone just to really, you know, make things pop and um, help separate everything out. So really happy with how that came out. Um, you know, same shot, more or less, just a little bit different perspective, a little bit higher up. Um, <laughs> some of my guys in the automotive world have already uh, said, this doesn't look realistic. And I'm like, uh, it's stylized. It's close, right? Give me your artistic license. But um, it was fun to do, fun to shoot, really happy with how these came out, especially getting all that gorgeous spray. Um, so wrapping up there. So, gosh, I love this car. It's a Porsche Cayman. It's beautiful. Um, kept shooting a bit, changed hands, get some different angles, all that good stuff. Um, and now is when we're actually changing out the cars. So if you've ever wondered what it looks like to get cars in and out of a spray booth, uh, to get ready for paint, <laughs> here's a quick preview of that. Um, so we're pulling in the next car. Wanted a different perspective here. Um, wanted to get Emma uh, looking more towards the camera on this one. Um, so, in you know, setting up for that, kind of get the angles right. Um, we're going to have her spray the hood of the car. Um, get some good angles there. Um, don't tell anyone, but this is my dad. He's amazing. Um, he'll tell you he's not, but, you know, he rocks. And this is me trying to throw together a lighting without having my model ready yet, uh, which is always a blast. Uh, this shot in particular was nuts because, uh, as you'll see with the lighting, it was it's pure color. It's nuts. There's blue gels, there's teal gels, there's orange gels. Um, it, it, it was nuts. Um, and we were constantly playing with, you know, the background, getting that, you know, lit properly. Um, <laughs> it was an adventure. It was an adventure. That beauty dish is the key light on the left. I've got a big octobox on the right um, to kind of just add fill with an orange gel. I've got two flashes, basically... Um, aimed at the background uh, to add like a teal hue. And then I've also got a green lighting up the background. Um, I put an orange gel off of to Emma's right camera left, as you can see here, um, to kind of cut her out and give a little more depth and interest here. Um, what's really interesting and fun about this is that um, this shot was just kind of goofy saying, hey, we got it. Um, but one of the subtle, subtle things that um, I wish I had a picture of to demonstrate was that the foreground, right? You see this yellow stripe. Um, that's the tape and the plastic on the car. And um, I had this big old beauty, uh, I'm sorry, Octobox on the right side with an orange gel. And without it, that fender, that front of the car went completely to shadow. So adding that little bit of color, that little bit of pop really, really helped to elevate this image. Um, so this was great. Um, here's where I'm kind of being stupid. I'm shooting with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens was very, very wide angle. And I'm literally feeling the, the water spray hitting my knuckles as we're doing this. It was awesome. But, um, here's kind of the, the, the main shot. 
that we got at the end that I'm just super thrilled with. We got that uh, stellar eye contact. Um, shadows are a little bit harsher than I would like, especially on her uh, left shoulder. But, you know, that's part of the learning process. And um, I, I'm just thrilled with how this image came out, especially seeing, you know, her reflection in the hood of the car with the spray. I mean, the positioning of it's great, you know, the spray guns, you know, kind of filling up that negative space between her arm and, you know, the rest of her body. And it just, ah, uh, it came out so good. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really thrilled about this. And um, you'll actually be able to hear how goofy I get at the end of my sessions <laughs> as we wrap this up. I love my so here's coming up straight off the back of the camera and you can see it's almost dead on like there is not much difference between what came out of the camera and what came out off the computer there really was not a lot of retouching done in terms of color adjustments um, mostly what I did was a little bit of skin retouching, uh, took some of the gunk off the walls and, uh, cleaned up Emma's hair. But otherwise, like that image is almost straight out of the camera. And I'm just so, so thrilled with how this came out. Um, really fun stuff. So that's me doing the crazy lighting setup and here's wrapping up some fun automotive shoots.